Welcome to Motion Monday, number 16, Third Class Levers. Great tennis players generate those million dollar forehands and backhands by using a third class lever arrangement at the shoulder and elbow, where force is applied between the fulcrum and the load or resistive force. Remember, a third class lever is when the effort is between the load and the fulcrum. In this setup, just a small angular movement at the joint creates a large linear velocity at the racket face. This means when you swing forward on a forehand, the racket's face travels with substantial forward velocity vector toward the ball's incoming direction, enabling a big time collision that smokes the ball back towards your opponent. However, these benefits come with drawbacks. The force vector required to generate high forward velocity vectors at the racket head can be considerable increasing torque around the joints. Misalignment of the force vector or excessive acceleration vectors can stress the shoulder and elbow, risking fatigue or injury. So third class levers in tennis deliver tremendous velocity and quick directional changes on forehand and backhand strokes, but demand careful control of force vectors to protect the joints. Mastering this balance is key to both power and longevity on the court. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd like some tennis training on basic biomechanics, the things you never learned in school or from any coach, please take a second and consider investing in yourself at my site.